Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the sunshine is gone for now. Clouds have taken over. Temperatures have cooled off as well. But the thinking of a significant warm-up to more summer-like levels, that's still in the forecast uh, by the weekend and early next week. In the meantime, it's not a bad evening. At least it's dry, uh, mainly cloudy skies. Temperatures have slipped back into the uh, lower 60s after reaching about 65 to 70 this afternoon. South breeze now coming in at 10. North Kingstown with clouds coming in with a similar temperature as well. Uh, at last check, 61. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar locally looking okay. Uh, activities now through the early evening hours. The kids have games and practices and you know, some high school graduations this evening as well. Uh, not bad. It's really not until probably 11 o'clock and midnight we'll start to see some scattered showers. See the activity in the bottom of your TV set? A developing storm that's actually off the uh, mid-Atlantic co uh, coastline. You see the shield of clouds that are streaming in right now. And there's the area of low pressure. This will track north and east. It'll clip our area late tonight, early tomorrow morning. But it does slip away by mid-morning, so what'll happen is it will start off damp, uh, then we'll turn partly sunny. And then there's a second chance for at least a passing shower or thunderstorm. Let me walk you through it uh, for Friday because really it's a very changeable day. Well, first of all, this evening, starting off right about now, just mainly cloudy and dry first part of the night. And then late at night in the pre-dawn hours and towards early tomorrow morning, this is 7 a.m., uh, starting off with some showers and temps in the uh, upper 50s. Watch how rapidly it slides off the coastline. So by 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, it's pulling away. Skies are becoming partly sunny and dry. Once we get the sunshine getting to work mid to late morning and during the afternoon, temperatures should respond nicely into the at least a low to mid 70s and then watch here comes the second chance of a passing shower or thunderstorm during the mid to late afternoon so this is the kind of situation where they've got a shelf life of about maybe 15 to 30 minutes and then they're gone so these are more passing but again keep an eye to the sky for that passing shower or thunderstorm in between the showers there'll actually be some rays of sunshine regardless your friday evening and friday night you have plans to be outdoors then it looks fine by you know seven eight o'clock in the evening we're back in the clear with temperatures uh, in the 60s. So despite some showers on Friday, there are dry periods as well. Tomorrow morning, an early morning shower up until about, say, 9 a.m., then turning partly sunny, initially starting off in the upper 50s, and then warming up to the uh, low to mid 70s, a mix of clouds and sunshine between roughly 2 and 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, again, that random shower or thunderstorm popping up, and again, doesn't last very long. Seven-day future cast, big warm-up for the weekend, uh, looking at 80 on Saturday, upper 80s on Sunday, and we're talking heat and humidity both Monday and Tuesday hot. Uh, temperature at around 90. We'll watch for a late day thunderstorm on uh, Tuesday that'll knock the temperatures back down come Wednesday and Thursday with highs in the uh, uh, mid to upper 70s. So keep the umbrella on standby at times for tomorrow. You can download the Channel 12 weather app on your smartphone and on your tablets as well. Uh, pretty warm weekend coming up with Sunday being the warmer day and we're hot come Monday and Tuesday. Up and down, up and down. Yeah. Now we're at 90 again? It's kind of a roller coaster. No complaining about that. That's though. true. <laughs> yeah, very true. All right, more